This might be one of the best prompt creators I've ever used. This is a prompt hero. And what makes this one so good is that you can use it for everything. I've used it to create some of the best AI generated images in Mid Journey or Leonardo AI, but you can also use it in anything as far as creating content, blog posts, YouTube thumbnails, YouTube headlines, or even SEO and marketing. Today we're gonna do it in a few different ways. First, we're gonna start by making an awesome AI generated image. I'll also show you how to turn this into a content powerhouse. So you can see my mega prompts database right here. You can get access to this as well with the link in my description, but it's gonna have everything as far as AI art prompts, anything that you want. It's gonna have 5,000 plus pretty soon. Right now it has almost 2,000. I actually put the prompt in here already and you could see it is a pretty long and extensive prompt, but that's what makes this prompt so awesome. I'll also put a link in my description to this webpage right here called ChatGPT Prompt Generator. For hundreds of prompts, click the links in the description. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and then start with the very first thing. I'm in GPT-4, but you could also use this in 3.5 as well. The benefit of using it in 4 is that you can really utilize DALL-E to immediately craft and create the prompts you're getting in real time. Let's first start by going and just copy and pasting this whole entire prompt in here. Now remember, when this prompt is pasted in, ChatGPT is going to go back and forth with you, asking you questions, helping you target and narrow down exactly the way you want things to be. So for example, earlier today, I used this to make some awesome looking DreamWorks style animated images. And based off of a few creative and simple questions ChatGPT asked me, I was able to think of things and get the perfect image I was looking for. To get started, tell me what the prompt should be about. What specific topic or theme are you interested in exploring? This is simple. To start the process, let's go ahead and then type this in. DreamWorks style image of a fox. Okay, we're gonna leave it simple as that hit enter, and then let's let ChatGPT go to work. It's thinking to itself, and then it gives us the possible additions. It's gonna give this an A, B, and a C. Something to think and ponder about. It says, include a specific activity or action for the fox, e.g. leaping, exploring, interacting with something in the forest. Great idea, by the way, I didn't think about that. Then, here we go with the questions. Do you have a preference for the fox's color? Would you like to include any specific elements or details? These are all extremely helpful and beneficial because it's given me creative of things to think about something I otherwise wouldn't have thought about before. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and then take this. Now look at here down here at the bottom. Please select any of the additions you find appealing and provide answers. Feel free to answer as many or as few as you like. I'll incorporate your input in the next iteration of the prompt. Okay. Let's go ahead and say the fox is interacting with a panda. The fox is bright orange. And I'm going to say the scene is on a sunny day at dusk. Okay, and then there you have it. It already gives us our first prompt. So again, I've done a prompt similar like this before, but in my opinion, this one might work a little bit better because it's a lot more detailed. Again, A, B, and C, possible additions, okay? Specify the type of interaction between the fox and the panda. So we could take it and get a large variety of different style AI images, basically just by acknowledging the possible additions and the questions, but here's the cool thing. Here is the first prompt that gave us right here, okay? Let's just go ahead and then copy this prompt and see what we're working with so far. Here's the image it made for me in Dali. Okay, pretty cool, I like that. But like I said, if I actually go back to this prompt, we could see that we can even add more and more details to it. So let's just go ahead and do that. Change it to a tropical beach. The fox and panda are playing with a beach ball, happy. Now let's see if it can understand all of this. Now it says, create an image of a bright orange fox and a panda in a style reminiscent of DreamWorks animation playing with the beach ball on the tropical beach. Perfect, it got that right. Now, let's go ahead and then take this, and I'm gonna copy this one, and then stay in right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just paste it within the same chat, and automatically, Dali will know exactly what to create. Now, these look fantastic. Look at this right here. This did a fantastic job generating these images. Perfect. We're done with this one right here. Our second variation where we changed up the scenery from a forest to a tropical beach and the two animals are playing with a beach ball. <laughs> now, look at that. I don't think I could have asked for a better image. This one is perfect. And notice this. It remembered and it kept it kept the actual characteristics of the time of day that I wanted. So remember, the first original day of time was going to be at dusk. So that's exactly what this is. We have the sun setting. I still have my bright orange fox, but it has the panda and now fox playing with the beach ball. I'm going to go ahead and take this prompt now and then 
again, we'll go into mid journey with this one right here. And in mid journey, the only thing I will change up over here at the end is I'm going to change up the dimensions to uh, 16 colon nine and now hit enter right here. We'll wait and see what mid journey can come up with. So that's why this prompt has been so helpful for me because I can do multiple things at one time, create multiple AI generated images within the same chat window utilizing Dali. Then we're going to take things in a different direction and then try this prompt in improving our specific content. Mm -hmm. Now that mid journey is done, let me open this up over here. Now look at this right here. Oh man, this is cool. This is cool. Look at this. DreamWorks animated style. It kind of meshed things up a little bit. My panda has fox ears and my fox has panda ears. Listen, mid journey didn't get it perfect on this one. The images look good, however, but let's just say I can walk away with something completely different. The images look good, but it didn't get it exactly right. And with a few small changes, I could actually get it to look good. Even so, it did a pretty good job with the first one. Okay, let me go ahead and now open up another brand new chat. Let me go back over here to my prompts database. Let me go to my prompt engineering one. Scroll down to the bottom for all my prompt generators and copy this prompt again. And now this time I'm going to come back over here in the chat GPT, but we'll try it up in GPT 3.5 to see how this can work for us as well. So I'm in chat GPT 3.5. The first time I was in four because I was generating images. So here we go. I'm here to assist you. What do you want in mind? I'm going to go ahead and say generate clickbait and catchy YouTube titles. And then here is immediately the first prompt it's going to give me. Provide me with a list of your most effective title ideas packed with intrigue and curiosity. There is the prompt right here. Let's go ahead and then take this one right here. Let's open up a new chat. So immediately, immediately, this is becoming a prompt engineering generator for me. And I pasted this prompt in. I didn't even give it a specific subject yet, but that's okay. Look at this right here. It's going to allow me to choose the subject with each of these 15 YouTube titles it provided me. Now look at this right here. Crafting clickbait titles that boost views and engagement on YouTube. I have 15 immediately I can use. And because I didn't give it a subject or a title, that's okay. That's what this bracketed text is. Unbelievable. Bracketed text. Shocking, incredible topic revealed. Okay. Number of secrets you didn't know about. Popular topic. This is pretty cool. All 15 just like that right away. Okay. Let's go back over here. Now let's go ahead and then consider some of these possible additions and these questions. Share strategies to include keywords and emotions and titles. Okay. Use this keyword. And uh, for this keyword, I'm going to select AI images. And then I can also provide examples from possible channels for inspiration. Offer examples from popular channels for inspiration. Okay. So then I'll put it at the bottom. My niche is a YouTube channel teaching people how to use AI for digital marketing. Okay. So we have that question answered. I have my keyword AI images. How often do you publish videos? I publish about three videos per week. Let me hit enter. And now let's see what this can come up with. Look at this right here. Look how quickly we got this amazing prompt. Okay. I can take this as far as I want. Let's go ahead and copy this one right here. We're going to copy this prompt, open up a new chat, paste that and then see what it can give us immediately for these titles. Look at this right here. Unbelievable AI image transformations from mundane to masterpiece. Immediately, I get 15 catchy YouTube titles. This is a multi-utility, one-stop shop type of prompt that you could use, and it covers all sorts of social media, content creation. This one specifically for YouTube videos. So if we look at some of these other ones right here, just take a look. I'll zoom in. Now look at these right here. You could see even number seven. This is pretty catchy. From Pixels to Picasso, AI's role in revolutionizing visual content. Now here is where things get really awesome. Look what I did right here down here at the bottom. I said, use this channel for reference. It doesn't know this is my channel yet. So I just said, use this channel for reference. And I just put in my YouTube URL. Okay. There it is. It linked automatically to my channel right here. This is pretty cool. And then here we go. Here's a possible additions. And then let's go ahead and copy this one right here. Now to do this, I'm going to open up a new chat and I'm going to utilize GPT-4. And now I'm going to paste this prompt in. The reason I'm switching to GPT-4 is because I want to have access to the internet. Now let's hit enter. Look at this right here. Immediately it says, creating clickbait titles for YouTube videos inspired by the style of a channel like Metrics Mule. This is awesome. Now immediately check this out. It's actually taking some of the information and details from my actual channel, considering those and then providing me 10 other headlines similar, but a little bit of the same variety at the same time. Look at this right here. Mind blowing AI images that shouldn't exist. That's why I love this prompt because you could use it for just about anything. So let's just say for an example, 
channel that you create content for Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, etc. And there's somebody else's page that you like the jobs that they do. Utilize this same exact method, same prompt, but now instead change it up. Say Instagram posts or tweets, anything that you want. What we did was create some awesome AI images, but then we also got some awesome YouTube title ideas. Just like that, we have a large amount of information and images that we can use going forward. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Turn it back.